My name is Dina Tokyo. I don't have any nicknames. I would say I am laid back, fun and a little bit eccentric at times. I started by making my own clothes at home, wearing them in a mini photo shoot and then posting the pictures onto my Facebook page. And then my Facebook audience said, hey, you should really show us how to wear your headscarf because we want to know how. And you should do it on YouTube. And I was like, oh, okay. I never thought I would ever be sitting in front of a camera filming myself. But then I did it because that's what they wanted and I guess I never stopped. I see it as a very positive future. I feel like finally people are noticing us and recognizing our efforts, let's say, and putting us in the right place in the fashion world, if that makes any sense. I think the rise of modest fashion has been a long time coming. I started blogging seven years ago, and that was my aim, to see to make it kind of like a movement. And now people are really taking notice of it and for me that's the most positive outcome. I think it's a great thing in general, but then for a fashion house to design something that's already what we kind of have, it's just very disappointing because we don't want what we already have. We want what you are known for, but adapted to our needs. So we don't want cultural appropriation, we want your designs with longer sleeves, longer length and a bit of a higher neck. That's really. Not many people know that I used to be quite overweight and have an eating disorder when I was younger. I don't think I can say that on camera. <laughs> the best thing about Sid, my husband, is that he is incredibly supportive and if without his support I really wouldn't be able to carry on doing what I'm doing. I would say to 16 year old Dina not to over pluck your eyebrows as much as you did and I would say don't stress so much about what you're going to do for a living because if you do what you love then it will work and you can make it happen. Just make sure you end up doing what you really, genuinely love doing. My greatest fears are that my daughter will grow up in a society where she can't be herself, she can't express her views and she can't live her, her religion freely. I hope I will maybe have few more kids. No, sorry, change that. Maybe just one more kid. <laughs> and hopefully be very stable in my career, whether that be carrying on blogging or branching on into TV or still doing YouTube or the ultimate dream, just having a clothing line and doing nothing but design. Don't think about it too much. That's what I live by. Don't think about it too much. For more videos like these, then make sure you subscribe to Glamour UK down below. And if you want to see more of my videos, then you can head over to my channel. But make sure you subscribe to Glamour UK.